let's take a look at how we can use notifications. All right, so the notification I'm going to be showing you guys here today is when you tab in and out of your game. Tab in and out of your game. So, uh, when you play some games, you may notice that when you tab out, the volume goes quiet, or the whole game pauses, or the tree pauses, or something, usually one of the, something along those lines, maybe there's a toggle. Uh, in the options, so you can have it so that it'll be quiet if it's in the background. Um, and that's uh, the main notification that we're going to focus on today, but we can take this lesson into all the different notifications that are possible. Now, I'm going to be using this just to quiet the audio down, so I'm not going to pause everything or any of that. I'm just going to make it quiet when we tab out and back to normal when we tab back in. So inside of my tree there, you may or may not be able to see it, but it's just a control node with a stream player, an audio stream player, and that has some audio attached to it and auto plays turned on so that when you start up, we can go ahead and play that. And is that, it's not even being captured. Good thing I checked. And it's it now. It is. Alright. So when I start up, and that's going to automatically start playing. And I have a script on the control. All right, so if we go into our script, the only thing you need is a function called underscore notification, and that takes, or that has an argument of what that gets passed in and that what is a notification that gets sent out by the engine. Now if we go into the search here and we just type in notification, we can see all the different types of notifications we can get here. And this will work in uh, good old 3.x as well as 4. Um, aside from, or I should say the only difference is maybe some name changes, such as the ones we're going to be using today as uh, it's going to be using this section here, which has notification WM, focus in and focus out. And in uh, version 4, it's notification application, focus in and focus out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and match this what, or whatever this is. And all we have to do is type in the notification. So if we look in, take a look, notification, WM, all the way down here, focus in, that, 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 and then the same thing, but a focus out. There we go. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and print inside of these. So, say print tab out. And when we focus in, print tab in. Make that a string real quick. And now, if we were to play this, you can see as we tab out and in, it's going to print out inside of the output console down there. And I don't think you guys are actually able to see that, but then you wouldn't be, uh, know when tapping it now anyway, so it's not that important that it, it's shown, that the play window is actually shown, um, which is why we're going to use we're using audio for this demonstration. Alright, so when we tab out, uh, in my case, I want to get the audio bus down here, and my music is going out to the master bus. I haven't created any other ones, so in order to modify the volume there, if you remember from the audio audio settings we did before, 
we're going to access the audio server dot set set boss bus set bus volume db the index the one that we want is index zero and the volume we want to set it to is negative 80 because that's as low as it can go to be mute so now when we play it since we tab out our audio is now all quiet and if we tap back in nothing's gonna happen yet let's go ahead and pause that stop that and i'm just going to go ahead and copy this line of code because we're going to do the same thing when audio focuses in only i'm going to set it back to zero which is the default and tap out tap in tab out and tab in so you can see that we're just changing with the volume we're not pausing anything so a common thing that also gets happened is uh, you could pause the whole tree which is just get tree dot paused equals true and get tree dot pause equals false but you have to make sure that whatever uh, whatever node has your script is set to process so that it does process when everything else is paused if you have it on inherit or stop it's going to well if you have it on stop it's going to stop and if it's on, on inherit it's going to take from its parent now if you have audio settings in your game you probably don't want this to be set to zero all the time so uh, just make sure to get the volume audio server dot get plus plus volume index is zero right so we're gonna say go ahead and grab this we're gonna have a note or a volume here curve all it's gonna be in there boom and when we tab out we're gonna set that Here we go check that out so we're gonna set that variable to whatever our volume is at when we tab out and then we'll change the volume and then when we tap back in we can just set it to whatever it was at using our variable so open tab out tab in and if we have a lower belt by default i make it quieter see tab in tab out tab in and we should be able to change this lab as well we lower this down So there you go, there's how you can use notifications. So all you have to do is just match for a different notification. Uh, any of the ones that are, as you can see in this list. And if you take a look at them, they should tell you when they get sent out. Alright, so that'll do it for today. Take care, have yourselves a good one. Now I have to quickly get this video ready and up, because it, and the video is supposed to be live. Very, very soon. This is recorded extremely late.